punk. What's that sound? <laughs> oh, just you, okay then. I'll take the shells though. It's got a big reloading spree. What have we got here? Nothing. They fit five in there, okay. Am I crazy? Where is he? Oh, he's an imp. I thought he was a revenant. Damage wasted. Yep. Take him like a man. Take him to the face. Uh, this is... I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save a baby. He went boom boom. What the fucking <laughs> God damn it, I'm out of ammo again. This is terri terrible now. This is going terrible now. Oh me, oh my. Oh shit, myself. Goodbye. Can I can't shoot through that. <laughs> it's kind of I feel like it's weird that they bounce away from that but then a shotgun turns into a fucking skeleton it's a bit of a bizarre choice but uh, whatever what do I thank you hiding shit everywhere aren't they these guys love it Save. Got loads of health. <laughs> oh, you got a cough. Marine. Oh shit, I got no fucking... Oh, I see a little bullet of hand grenades. It's one thing I don't want. Close your shirt, dude. Fucking hell. Where do you think we are? Um, got nothing. Got shit. I ain't got shit. Warning, don't press this. Click. Uh, what? The devil? What the devil? No pun intended. Ow! 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 Mom! Uh, what the? F Really, just just a spawning pool. Nice. That's uh. Destroy. Say what? <laughs> These guys. Wow, they die quick to pistols, though. Damn. Okay then. 
But I said more than that. Not gonna face up against those things though. Fuck in God, why can't I fucking take out? Yeah, I knew that guy was there and I just didn't I didn't know what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, I don't have enough time to move my hand and press to change weapons. But then I just did do anything for like five seconds. Oh shit, okay. Damn, if I knew the pistol was that good against them. Wouldn't be in the state I'm in now. That, that is so stupid. <laughs> that is so silly looking. Where do I go? This way, presumably. That's why he was waiting for me. He's been waiting there for hours. It's like, come on, Jesus Christ, how long does it take to play this game? Absolute joke. Let's save. Where was the healthy thing? Nice. Hey. Please don't swap to a weapon. <laughs> I haven't got loaded. What? A okay. Are we in some cheap uh, steam horror now? <laughs> I, mean, I, I get the idea, but it seems a bit random. Why put these in now? I guess they're like supposed to be like devil, cybernetic, evil cherubim or something, but like, a bit of a weird. Oh. Bit of a weird thing to put in now. But... Administer treatment. Damn, I got nout. Nout. To work with. Fuck, why did I do that? I forget that you can't just hold them forever. So I was like, let's prepare a grenade. <laughs> I need to remember they bounce all over the place too. <laughs> That's what she said. Do I want to go down here? Yeah, fuck it. Warning. Danger level orange. Oof. Ow, my uh My suit. Right, let's click on the save. God oh no. Damn, okay, they died to the machine gun. <laughs> Real quick. Danger level orange. Unsafe toxicity level detected. Is that me? Excuse um, wow. <laughs> what is this? Not sure if I should be scared or laughing. Oh, it's another boss, boss fight, okay. <laughs> you can just fucking tell. Right, give me the crystals. Bring the crystals to me. Oh, it's the Mancubus. This time, more Squidward. Oh, 
Wait, was there someone else in the room? <laughs> Were we not alone? I'm sorry. Completely misread the situation. Oh, there's another one. Sorry, I thought you were a boss. Can't be a boss if there's two of you. Okay, that's so silly how it just <laughs> sends them flying. Do I have... Damn, I just used a grenade to blow up his fucking rocket, dude. Easy mode. Oh shit. Oh, I can't run anymore because I have no sprint or stamina. Hey, oh, you're not... You're silly. You're very silly. What's down here? Just some shit, okay. Well, that was uh, somewhat underwhelming. But I'm also slightly glad about that. <laughs> <laughs> it could have gone a lot worse. A lot worse. Okay. There's nothing else in here. Let's just let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. No, oh, it's it's you. Wait, there's so much health and stuff. Did they think I was gonna struggle with that? Right, let's say because I expect the end of the level to be like now, but Ooh, little hidden things. Like some out of Silent Hill. Be your end. Your soul will burn in hell forever. Good. Scrubber one of three, Scrubber two of three, activated. What? <laughs> okay, I guess I missed one of them, maybe. But, 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 but I guess that's why it gave me so much uh, health, so I, I can definitely be at 100. Let's, uh... Death will not be your end. Your soul will Warning. burn in hell forever. Let's, oh, here. Here. I was going to say, I thought I just... Oh, fucking damn that! God damn it! Yo, John, fuck you, I guess. John got nothing to say. Hey, I'm back here again. That was uh, worth it, wasn't it? What did I even do? I didn't even learn what the code for that is. What was it? 972? Is it still that? No. Monorail. The monorail. My work here is done. But you didn't do anything. Oh, didn't I? <laughs> Such a good moment. Rise. 
that me? No. There is no death for you. Shit, it's like a guy from Wolfenstein. Not you again. Oh, nice. Deliver us from evil. This is the audio log of Engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monitor. We're going to go down first. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week Ow. never happened again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a Wait. vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. I'm going over 15,000 lines of code today. I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. It's <laughs> going over the uh, Doom source code. But somehow, the logs show that the discrepancy is clear as day. Now Honestly, leaving Environmental like Reprocessing case Center. Of a solid system Next stop, going Site to hell in 2. The hand basket. I'm confident the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences I was from happening here on again. The train for my partner. I'm off to he meet Engineer Jim Torben at the access on. doors to the Delta Complex back. platform to find troubleshoot a faulty track is. sensor that's been causing the door to stick. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at Site 2. I bet they're somehow connected with those things in the Delta Complex. The Delta Complex isn't safe. You're crazy if you're going there. Remember, safety first. I'm not crazy. I'm brave. Without wearing proper environmental protection. In the event Look, of an emergency I don't think this train is safe either. We don't know what's ahead. Have a nice day. I'm staying on the train until we get to Delta. Now entering you're on site your two. Okay then, bro. Warning. Air lock malfunction. Please contact engineering to facilitate repairs. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thought I just heard some... This guy says nothing down. I don't know if it's worth even looking. Whoa, okay. Well then. Quite a lot of different enemies in this game. Destroy all who oppose me. This was not not the right choice of fucking tactics. Oh god. You dick wad. You are a wad of dick. <laughs> you doom wad. <laughs> Why isn't that ever been said before? Must have been. What a doom wad. <laughs> That's so good. I suppose dick wad's pretty old. But that's like... <laughs> I suppose that's not a thing anymore, so... You doom ward. Really? Not gonna give me anything. Telling me you're not a secret little entrance, I guess you're not. Coming from all angles. Whoa! What the fuck are you? The tyrant? Holy shit. I'm gonna save in a new slot. Ooh, I'm alive. It feels good to be alive. 
No, don't. Oh, it's just you. It's just one of you guys. Do not actually come over? Or... I, oh, I literally walked into it, but I was waiting for my fucking stamina to reload, and I didn't even look to see if it was finished, though. Oh, God. I need to crack my back. Man, I bought a new chair, and it's awful, honestly. Like, <laughs> it's supposed to be like a gaming chair thing, but like, I don't know, it just gives me backache, so. <laughs> but my other chair gave me arse ache, so it's, you know, it's one or the other, really. Um, but as soon as I bought it and sat down, I was like, I want to get another one. Which is not usually a good sign. So. I'll probably end up. Thing is, like, good quality chairs are so expensive. But I should probably just pay up, I guess, and get a, try and get a good, long lasting, comfy ass chair. The problem is, is I sort of need, like. I, I like it when the back is really vertical. Otherwise, I feel the need to lean forward, and then, and then you know, you get sort of back problems or whatever. And it seems hard, but you can't really tell whether the back is vertical enough without testing it first, so... You missed! Shall I just use a... I thought, is this gonna fit through there? And I guess I got my answer. <laughs> oh shit. Three hell three HP. Three hit points. Two hit points. Ah ah ah. One hit point. Yeah! Jump off! Yeah! Oh! I hate. Getting fucking double teamed here. I've been um, buying and selling Pokemon stuff. Because I want to like, I don't know. Well, I want to do it basically. <laughs> I don't need to fucking explain myself to you. Um, well, I've been selling old. I got, I got Pokemon cards from when I was a kid. Still, I have all my rares and shinies and stuff in a book, and uh, I've been selling. A, I sold like two cards for thirty quid each, which feels pretty good for you know. Holy shit, there's more than I thought before. Which, you know, isn't bad for like a couple of bits of cardboard. So I'm selling a few of those, and I've been sort of buying Pokemon games because they often. Oh! <laughs> I'm buying Pokemon games because they, uh, you know, they tend to go up in value often. I mean, it depends on, you know, obviously. <laughs> So what I'm trying to do is get some Game Boy games and then fix the batteries because the batteries are all dead these days. So I'm swapping out the batteries and then selling those for premium. But I'm also buying some newer Pokemon games and I'm going to keep them and then hopefully turn a profit in a bit. But um, well actually, yeah, I bought the... Um, Let's go Pikachu. No, let's go Eevee. No, no Pikachu is the one I got actually. 
and uh, I actually really want to play it, <laughs> but I don't own a Switch. So I'm not going to just like, get a Switch just to play that game, but... Because, you know, it was the first... <laughs> it was the first Pokemon game that was really my favorite, and I guess like Golden Silver is pretty good, but I do like the original world and Pokemon the most, so I think Let's Go Pikachu is kind of my thing, but the thing is about the Switch is it just seems so underpowered. So I've been... I w otherwise I would have got one when it came out, because it's got a few games that I would like to play, but... But, um... So I've been kind of waiting for, like, a pro version to come out, but... It has been, like, years at this point, so... I don't know whether that's kind of just silly <laughs> to keep waiting. Although I think... Wait a fucking cotton pick in a minute. Seriously? This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, Please have a code. director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. No! Um... What is that down there? Oh, you... People. You people make me sick. No, oh, not the time to reload. But I'd love to see a new Pokemon game. I think, to me, what was never actually very good about Pokemon are the battles. <laughs> Which is kind of silly, because that's kind of what it's supposed to be about. But I honestly think a new Pokemon game would be... Or a new, like, you know... It doesn't have to be Pokemon, but whatever. It could be some new license or whatever, but... I think it'd be great if uh, Pokemon battles in those games were turn-based tactics. You notice you had like a little battlefield of like nine squares or something. Maybe the size could depend on the location or it could depend on like Pokemon speed maybe or something like that so you get like bigger battlefields for faster Pokemon. And then you'd actually control the Pokemon, tell it to move around, attacks would have actual like you know, ranges and things like that. That you'd be... Um, wow, well, it just started absolutely chucking it down. <laughs> okay. Quite loudly. But, uh, but I think, yeah, I think that'd be an awesome uh, change to the game series. Because I just think Pokemon battles are always pretty unspectacular. Like, they were okay... They were serviceable when when you were a kid because you would imagine the rest, you know. But as gay, you know, as an adult, obviously. I mean, I know they're not really aimed at adults, but but as an adult, obviously, that sort of willingness to imagine that shit, fill in the blanks, isn't really there. And um, and we can do so much more graphically and engine-wise and and everything. So I think it'd be so cool if it was. Turn-based tactics added a bit of depth to the battles, so I'd love to see that. Maybe one day I'll do it myself if I get around to it. Cause I'm doing a an RTS game at the moment, and I need to focus on that. But in who knows, five, ten years, <laughs> if that game is successful, especially, it'd be great to move on, and, and that might be a something I would do, but. I'm lost. Engineering, please report to site two access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. Hmm. This is really nothing. Um. 
I guess there's no like PDA on here, because I guess that's what I'm looking for, right? It's a PDA thing. There's armor on here, but I think you can get it. I think. <sighs> guess not. Um Maybe I have to go back out to the train and go underneath the train, because there is that little thing. Seems a bit of an odd. Would be an odd place to put it, though. <laughs> See, uh, what would it be? Do they come down? No. Okay, well, it's not here, but I did get some stuff. Can you perhaps uh, tell me what the code is, you, <laughs> you fucking scientist? This is all because of you scientists. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Why? Why? Do I not have it? Like magnetic lock repairs. What's that? This is the audio log of Engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have said... To this. Welcome to the UAC Maintenance Department. This video will provide you with the necessary tools and information to do your job efficiently and safely. A safe worker is a happy worker, and your safety is our number one priority at UAC. Observe all signs and follow all procedures to keep you and your co-workers out of harm. <laughs> Cleanup is one of signs. the most important aspects of what we do in maintenance. This phase of our job keeps everyone safe, and research has shown that working in a clean and toxic-free environment has a positive benefit on overall productivity. Power generation on Mars produces two byproducts, steam and green goo. We vent the steam all over nice. the base, through vents, floor grates, cleverly placed pipes, and pretty much any place else. The goo is a result of the MFS process reacting with core elements in the Martian soil. It is not radioactive, but it is quite toxic. Remove all toxic spills at once. Hazmat suits are the best way to protect yourself when a spill occurs. And if you happen to come in contact with the goo, report immediately to a medical station for a scrub down. After a few days in confinement, you should be ready to report back to work. <laughs> report any rule violations to your immediate supervisor. And don't forget to read your employee handbook for additional rules and information. Okay. Well, listen to this guy this again. Is the audio log of engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week... Oh, it's just this one again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the... Uh, I don't think this one a vacuum inside the had anything on it. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors... And Am I missing something obvious, or...? Going over 15,000 lines of code today, I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system going to hell in a handbasket. I'm confident that the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. I'm off to meet Engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's causing the door to stick. Oh, here we go. I, I guess, anyway. Hopefully it's not just a dead end. Oh, it is just a dead end. Guess.
Hmm. Guess no one's gonna open that for me. No kind demon is gonna open that door for me. Oh shit. Um I am stuck. Nine eight three. Nine eight. Engineering, please report to site two access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. Uh how am I supposed to find this out, man? I'm going to take a break here because I need to eat, frankly. Um, and we've done a lot today, so I'll save and continue next time. This is a longer game than I thought it was. <laughs> um, we haven't even got to hell yet. So, yeah, hopefully this is okay. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Oh, shit. Each person's PDA has email. Oh, shit, I thought that was a double-barrel shotgun. <laughs> it's just a corpse, nothing to worry about.